You'll learn a beautiful piece of Zerah Shimshin this week. Pasha's Toldos. The Pasha begins and talks about the Toldos Yitzchak ben Avram, the children of Yitzchak ben Avram. And we have a great question why it says Yitzchak ben Avram. Don't we know that Yitzchak is ben Avram? That we're going to go and speak about it towards the end of the piece. And also Rashi says, Yaakov the Esav Amur in the Parsha. It's Yaakov the Esav who are spoken about in the Parsha. Now we know we're talking about Yaakov the Esav. And obviously Amur in the Parsha, what are we referring to that they're spoken about in the Parsha? We know that it's all simple. So there needs to be some type of a explanation and something, some secret that Rashi is trying to convey to us with these words. And we'll see this towards the end of the shtickel. And we go further and we hear about the Yaakov and Esau that are born. And we have a Pasuk. The Pasuk tells us about the relationship of Yitzchak to Esau and also the relationship of Rivka to Yaakov. So the Pasuk tells us, the Pasuk Chavches, but Yehav Yitzchak is Esau, Kitzayi the Piv. Yitzchak loved Esau because he tied the Piv. We will see what that's of shat because well, hunting food is in his mouth. We'll see in a second what that means. But Rivka Oyeves es Yaakov, and Rivka loves Yaakov. Already the Mefarshim, Mr. Sekoyin, and others say that by Yitzchok it's written as a Lashrin Ovar, as a past tense. By Yehav Yitzchok, he loved Es Esav, and that's because Kitai Bepiv is something like Ahava, Tluya Bedavar, which is dependent upon something which is a butla dover, butla hava, something which doesn't have to be constant, doesn't have to remain. And Rivka Zoyhev says Yaakov, it's it's always constant. Rivka loves Yaakov because Avashina Tluya Bedavar, which is never Bitpela. But what does it mean, Kitai Bepiv? So we have the Targumunklis, and the Targumunklis tells us that. The reason why he loved him is because he ate from his from what from from what he hunted, and he made him very very sweet good food, very gishmaka food, and this is what Yitzchak loved Esav because of that. So that is the pshat the Targum Umpla says, and Rashi begins the piv according to this means in the mouth of Yitzchak that he gave tzayit into the mouth of Yitzchak kitar gumai. Like the Targum says, the piv shall Yitzchak. But then there's the other shat, which is the Medrashoi. And the reason why Rashi brings the Medrashoi is because the, the Gurariye says, the Maral says, it, it's a little bit schwer the first shat, because it should say, Kitzayid Lipiv, because he brought Sayid to his mouth, not Sayid Bipiv. So it's much better to feel Medrashoi, and the Medrashoi is what it says in Targum Yoinison. And we'll see Rashi first. The piv shall Esav shayatzad Esav umerameu bedvarav. There was hunting in the mouth of Esav. He was hunting Yitzchak, and he was tricking him and cheating him with his words of his mouth. So, and that's what it says before Shem Tagim Yoinesin. Aru mile ramayusa words of Ramaus bepume were in his mouth. So he cheated Yitzchak, and that's what it says, and that's why. And how did he do it? He would make himself look as if he's a tremendous medaklik by mitzvahs. And the Medrash says this. And, and he would talk about maestris, which you have to give maestr, tithe. And he would ask about things which, unbelievable, no one gives maestr from. Like, how are you maaser, the melach, the salt, and the tevin, and the, and the uh, stubble? And the, uh, right. And this is what Yitzhak thought, that he, because of that he was medaklik by mitzvahs. So then a lot of many shot him in the Pasuk itself, and we go now right to the Sifzik Koyin, which we're going to bring afterwards, the, what he brings from the shame, Rabbi Yosef Gikatili, in the Shari Oira. But before that, we bring what it says in the Sifzik Koyin itself. And he says, he started with the first shot, the shot of Unkles, and, and saying over here that Yitzhak needed that Esau should give him to eat. And there's a big question on it, which really the Avanezer already asked the Kasha, Ari Yitzchak was uh, such a great gavir, he was so wealthy. It says, He became so great in wealth, and they said that even the, the, the dung of his mules is better than the gold and silver of Avimelech, who was such a tzlacha by Yitzchak. And he was so, 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 such a great gavir, so he needs his son Esau to bring him food. He must have tremendous. Uh, servants and slaves 
that they could bring the food and there's special chefs uh, making the food. So what do you need Afka Asa for? So Ibn Ezra says a very big chiddish that you have to say that Yitzchak was Yoyred Min Achasov. He became poor. But it's a very big chiddish that he became such a poor man that he needed Asa to feed him. But whatever, this is not such an easy shot then. So then he goes to the next chat and he brings the Chazal that he was sad. He hunted Yitzchak in his, with his mouth about Ketzer Ma'asur Samelach, And he asks these words. He says, Yitzchak was a Navi and Hashem was with him the whole time. So how could it be that someone like this who sees everything, he's an all-seer, and Yitzhadeo Esau, the Peter Esau, is able to hunt him with his mouth, so he doesn't like that pshat either. Then he says a very beautiful pshat, his own pshat, and says like this, Kitzai the Piv means Yitzhak knew who Esau was. And he knew that he wants, that Esau was not going on the good path so so much. And he wanted to bring him back to the Kedusha, to want to, the, to be Mekar of him. So he was noyeg with, with him. He acted like he loves him and also he was Ma'ir Ava to him in order that he should be able to hunt Esau through his mouth, through Yitzchak's mouth. So you medaver imay veloshen raka kedelet soidoi in order to hunt Esau laavioi lemutev to bring him back to good, and that's where you see that he spoke to him so nicely. He says vayoy may love bini vayoy may he neini, and he says later on mi ato bini. He speaks so beautiful and so so calm and so peaceful and so loving to his son. And really, it was only vav Yitzchak as Esau loy ava gemura. He didn't love him. Which is a very interesting shot. But then they bring the Shari Aira, which is this, is what the Zera Shimshin builds his whole piece on, and he brings the following. The Shari Aira writes on the Yav Yitzhak Yitzhak, he asks the, the question, could a full tzaddik like Yitzhak, a complete tzaddik, never leaves him, and he sees everything, even even one moment the Shekhinah doesn't leave him. How could it be that he loved a Russia like Esau? And he says the words, Perak Godol Misoides HaTayrehu. This is a great Perak from the secrets of the Torah. And he says, watch the Pshat. Da, you should know. Ki Yitzhak Avinu Zal Tzafa, he saw with his Nevua, Kala Asid Lias, all that's going to be. And with Tzafa Viroak, Ovenei Yaakov, Choytim Machisim of Hashem, and he saw the sons of Jacob, he saw the cloud is so sinning and getting a, and angering a Kurdish Barhu. And through that they're gonna to have to be going to Gehenna and have for everlasting perjury. And it's gonna be terrible to burn forever. And it's terrible. So and we find that Ramavino also saw that uh, when Hashem put in front of him the two choices should they go to Gehenna or should they go and be subjugated by the Uma Sa'ilam, which the Iker is Ace of in Edom, and Avram Avinu had chosen that they should have Shibur Malchiyais. This way they will be purified and they will be, and they'll be, and they'll be forgiven and be Mechapar and their Avoinus. So this way they'll be saved from Gehenna. And so also Yitzchak was thinking about the same thing. And he knew that he had to be in Golos Edom. And the reason why he should be in Golos Edom is because Esau is the brother of Yaakov. So he will be more, have, have more mercy on him. And Esau has also Schusim, will have different merits. That through that he's also going to be worthy to have Schar in this world, have greatness. And, and it's also because he has merits, he's going to be part of the world of good a little bit, and therefore he's going to have mercy more on Yaakov, and the long Golos Yaakov will be able to exist, Plavisa will be able to exist, and when he saw that they were going to be in the Golos of Esau, Samach, he was happy. Because Golos forgives sin. So all have Tzoros Esau, and he loved the Tzoros that Esau was going to make on Klaus Yisrael, the Laman of Yisrael Chayva, that he was Melamed, and Yisrael was Melamed, and Yisrael Chayva, and Mekatrik, today, Ligmar Aleyem Adin, in order that he should be able to finish the din upon them, the Golusa in, in his Golus, the Oilam Hazer, in this world. And through that, the Lo Yiu Nitzaydin, the Dine Gehenim, and they will not be trapped in the Dinim of Gehenim. She says, that's a Pshat, Ki Tzayid Bepiv, that the fact that they would have been trapped. The Gehenim, instead, Balatpiv, they come into the mouth of Esau, who eats them up like the Lashen Ki Ochel Yaakov, Vesnaveyu Heishamu, they ate up Jacob, 
or because Lashon is fine in the Toichecha, the Ochlo Eschem Sa'anim, and is also a Lashon of Ahoy Olecha, they will be to be eaten. So the fact that, 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 the bowl of peeve that saved them from the Tzayid, from being hunted and falling into Gehenim, Lazet, Samach. So he says, that's a pshat. But yeah, Yitzchak is Esau. He loved Esau. He loved what Esau was going to be doing to cloud himself. Ki Tzayid Bepiv. Because through that, being, they would not be hunted in Gehenim, and they will be instead under Esau, and they will be Mechopar, and they will be purified, and they will be able to leave the Golos, and everything will be great, and they will not be in perjury forever, and they will not burn over there in Gehenim for Netzach. Okay, so that's what it says in the Shari Oira. Comes the Zerah Shimshin and Ois Tesvav, and the Parsha, and he says the following. He says, V'af onu noimar, now we will also add on a piece. And he says, yes, he's going to be able to be by Esau, but how will Esau be able to have this chus of this greatness that he's able to subjugate Yaakov, and also that Esau will have this mercy, though he's a brother, but it's also not so simple. So it's only when he will be able to be zoicha to, to do a mitzvah, and this way Rishoim are getting the shah in Oilam Hazeh, and he'll be worthy to have the greatness and be Mishabed, his brother Yaakov. And also, because he's doing a mitzvah, he's not going to be totally under the chilek of the klipa, of the toma, and he'll also have a part of good, and therefore he will not be totally a, a unmerciful person, an unmerciful master. He will have some rachmanes, and like the Gemara says in Gitin, oi betulach, either we will be yeah, under the shadow of the Rabbi Nishalelem, oi betulach, the bar Esau, and if we have to be in Golos, let us be in the shadow of the son of Esau. And therefore, in order that this should work out, Yitzchak Ratzah she koidim abroches yatriach Esau v'satzmoi Esau should matriach himself lots of loitzay to hunt for him hunting and be a big mitzvah kibud avayim a special mitzvah he's going to do today she v'schus Esau mitzvah the shechina will, will will rest upon him to bless him will be able to give him the bracha of 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 a shefa in olam hazeh and he will also have this mercy mercy that therefore. He will be able to do the tachlis for being metake and the bnei Yaakov, and it wouldn't go into Gehenim, and that would be a tikkun for him too. Who machshav toy hoisa dafke the toy elas bnei Yaakov and his machshava was dafke for the for the good of the sons of Yaakov. So this is what basically he says using the shari oyer and explains a bit what's going on in the parsha. And Rabbi Yisai with this he explains in Ois Aleph. The, the, this is what for the first Pasuk is trying to say to us. The Eila told us, Yitzchak ben Avraham. We asked, what is it ben Avraham? And we brought Lashon Rashi, Yaakov Esav Amur and Beparsha. But now we understand it. The Eila told us, Yitzchak, we see that Yitzchak gave birth to such a Rasha, Esav, and, and this Esav was born as a twin with Yaakov. And the question we're going to ask is, why? And the answer is, ben Avraham. Because he comes from Avram, and what do we know by Avram? Avram chose the Shibud Malchis, which is the Iker going to be by Golas Eden, the Lange Golas, and and he chose that upon Ganem, and this way they will be able to be saved. So we need to have an Esau, in or, and also born together with Yaakov, so he should be a Tikkun, and it shows the fact that he's born together with Yaakov, that he's a Tikkun for Yaakov, and this way, he will not go into, Yaakov will not go into Gehenna, and he'll get Metukan, and he'll be able to have the Geula afterwards. And that's what it says. Vela told the Shifts, like, why did it happen like this, that Esau was born and with Yaakov? Ben Avram, because he's Ben Avram, who chose the union of Shibud Malchus over Gehenna, which is just what we just heard in the Shari Oira. And that's what Rashi says, Yaakov the Esau, who Amur in the Parsha, learn it and see what is said about this Esau in the Parsha, and you will see that, that it says, Vayav Yitzchak et Esau, Kitzayil the Piv. And we just explain that's in order to save Klau Yisov and being meat so in Gehenim. And that's why Esau had to be born, even though he's a Russia, and he's coming from a Tzadik, but he had to be born from Yitzchak, and he had to be born together with Yaakov because he's his tikkun together. That's what it is. And with this, there's a beautiful pshat in a sefer, uh, a sefer written by Rabbi Yitzhak Oish, who was one of the great gainim of the Fyodika generations, who says such a beautiful, beautiful pshat in the of 
told us which we're not going to read this week because we're going to read Machar Chaydesh. But the Naftira begins and says that Hashem says to Klal Yisrael, I love you. And then we ask, the man I've done, where do we, where is it express this love? And the Pesach says, Haloi Ach Esav Yaakov. Esav is a brother to Yaakov. And I love Yaakov and I hate Esav. What is the Pesach trying to say? So he says this beautiful pshat. He says that that is the Nekuda. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu is expressing his love to us by putting us in the gullus of a brother who has more love to us more mercy to us than others would have. Like we said, the Tula, the Bar Esau, we want to be in the shadow of of the son of Esau. And that's what he's saying. Because he's a brother, and he can bring him in the gullus of a brother that also expresses the tremendous Ava of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Klau Yisrael, that even in such a matzav, he picked for them the best way to they should have gullus. And it's a long gullus, and Rabbi Yisai, we're willing to, we want to really get out of here from this Golis Edom. And Amir Hashem, now we're coming to Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh is the message, the same as the moon is Mishchadesh. So we also are Mishchadesh, Kim like the moon. And Amir Hashem, we should be Zaycheh, that Rabbi Yisai should bring an end to Golis Edom. As the Pasuk says, the Yodai Echezes Ba'akev Esau, says the Medrash, that the Yaakov's power, Yodai is power, when Esau finishes, that's when Yaakov is going to have the power. We be zeichet to what we're going to be asking for in the tefillah of Birkas Achaydesh. We yigal Esau bekarai. The kabbits in the chaynu of Akan veSaharet. Mitzvah Hashem bekarav mamish begula shleima. Bias Mashiach sitkenu b'meira b'yamenu. Amen. Mechain yehi ratzain. Good Shabbos to everyone and a gitten chaydesh.